Hey, hello guys. So, uh, this, I just got this. I went to my local gaming store and, uh, just getting some paint. And I picked this up. I just saw it. I thought it was very interesting. It's this, uh, Polish series. It's a Polish company. Um, that basically produces, I don't know actually what this is. It's not a game, so I think it's just like some, uh, I don't know, some fun thing i guess uh but it's basically i guess female versions of historical uniforms but they're all historically accurate and um you can already tell that this uniform they had the proper gator shoes and everything which i was i that, that part actually made me want to get this because i'm like you know I, just want, I want to pay up some old guard but i don't really want to you know start my old guard unit because i have a thing where I have to paint up the boring units so that I can paint up the old guy, which is kind of like a reward for painting up, you know, at two battalions of, or I mean, two brigades of, like, infantry or something. So I just want, felt like painting up some old guards, so I got this. And I was really astounded. It's uh, mid-metal, which I'll show you in a sec, but it's amazing detail. Like, I have the proper backpack. Everything's correct. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'll box this, but yeah, it's called, uh, it's on eBay, you can get this, I was looking to get more, they only have this one, and, uh, go on, if you want eBay, it's just like, War Gamer, I guess, Hot and Dangerous series, I guess, I don't know, they have, like, models from every single period of history, I'm, I'm very surprised, they have some very niche historical uniforms and armies, like, they have a Russian Grenadier, with a, I presume the same woman throwing a grenade, uh, Russian Hazar, which again, you don't see that normally. Uh, what is it? Remember something else? Oh yeah, uh, Lithuanian uh, winged Hazars, which is of course this, which I thought was very cool, and some Polish Lancer model, which I thought was also really cool. So yeah, check it out on eBay. I believe they ship internationally because I got this from England, so I'm sure you guys can get it over there. But yeah, just search up. I think it's the Hot and Dangerous series c line i guess 28 millimeters me but yeah i'll pause and I'll, I'll get back and i open this and then yeah i'm planning on painting this today uh filming this outside because better lighting and also i'm packing to go uh what is it to california for a couple weeks so it's pretty loud out there yeah, inside because we're all packed and stuff so yeah uh yeah get back and then i'll paint it up hopefully today or after two weeks but yeah all right so i've opened it uh so it comes with like some fancy bell wrap um and this is the figure it's 28 millimeters so it i i scaled it uh it fits perfectly with the victrix old guard it's far larger than any world games i think and parries not that much it's just um uh let's see uh basically it's it's a base uh height so basically She's still the same, she's the same height as her figures, um, while they're based, while, she, uh, she, yeah, she is unbased. So, you can, I'm, I'm gonna use this as, like, a, just a fun, I don't know, uh, special character. Not gonna, just in the battle, you know, you have, um, some morale booster or something, I don't know. Doubt there's ever, I don't remember reading any historical documents of a, uh, female old guard, but we can, you know, maybe they're really good at hiding in, so, who knows, because there's definitely, um, a Russian, I'm not sure you guys know this, but Russian Hazar, forget her name, this whole movie, it's called the Hazar Ballad, the Ballad of the Hazar, yeah, and basically, she pretends to be, uh, a man to get to the, uh, Hazar units, and fought in the, First Great Patriarch War against Napoleon. And, uh, yeah. I believe so. Uh, she, uh, got, oh yeah, pardoned or something. Because she, 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 they were going to kick her out when they found out, but she got pardoned and officially was, like, declared a man, I guess. Te she's his first trans, uh, first document transvestite, but we could pretend. But also maybe transgender as well. Uh, we don't know. So. Very interesting, uh, but yeah, I'll just take her out of the bag and yeah, I'll show her, show the details. Alright, so, 
figure. Uh, apologize. Just zoom in. There you go. Uh, figure looks something like this. Um, as you can tell, the proportions aren't as crazy as on the cover art, so it looks far better. Um, because you know it's too. But yeah, the proportions are still a bit, you know, obvious, I guess. But yeah, uh, it's a great figure. Um, the face could do a bit of work, I guess. Um, because you can't really tell, like, you know, uh, compared to, like, pair of miniatures. But it's still fine. Uh, it's still can be really fun to paint, I'd say. Everything else is amazing. I'm, I love how they, did, they included the Grenadier uh, patches. Which, uh, I don't think World Game does that, or even parries, so, I love it, oh, oops, <laughs> small figure, uh, cause I ha I used to have an old guardian for my sold it off, cause, uh, I was gonna make, I was gonna make it myself, uh, but yeah, it, I had to make those, order those custom when I got it from my, the guy who made it, and yeah, I had to get those, oh gosh, patches made custom, but yeah. So, ah, focus. So, apologize for the. I had a weird zoom in thing. <sighs> Man. There you go. So, yeah, you can sell old guard stuff. I actually have an old guard bear skin still, which I'm not planning to sell off because I, I love it so much. So, I, if you guys are interested, I'll make a video just showcasing that and you can kind of. Uh, you know, sh compare the stuff, but yeah, interesting. Uh, since uh, old guard they had long hair, it'd be actually not that hard, I'd say, to pretend to be part of the old guard. Uh, well, you'd have to be skilled, but you could, you know, just tie up your hair and powder it gray. But yeah, uh, it comes with like small base. The, uh, some other figures come with like super intricate bases. Uh, like really, really cool ones. Um, I saw some with like, things like picnic blanket. Uh, or I know it was a artillery batteries like wood floor, wood grain floor, which I thought was really cool with like some cannonballs. Uh, here's the backpack, very detailed once again. Uh, looks very similar to mine. Very impressed uh, on this detail. I kind of prefer this actually to the parry ones just because I can dry brush super easily off of that. But in terms of the hand, I'm not super sure why I'm making this video because I'm sure I'm not, I doubt any of you will really need to get this because it's not, you know, working in peace. But if you guys, any of you guys are interested, it might be interesting. And then, of course, oh, oh. Uh, a musket. It's still bent and stuff, but easier to hold. It's the musket. Ah, I don't know how to zoom. No, there we go. Which is, yeah, I was watching Lions of Wellington uh, a couple of days ago. It's a really good Napoleonic, really. A lot of historical accuracies, but still pretty good. And there it is, musket. Uh, oh gosh, to switch hands so that I can show the other side. The one you get, the interesting side, because the flintlock side. Go. Very detailed basket. It has a hand. But yeah, very. I'm not really sure. It's like the ends field or something. I don't know. Enzyme. I forgot the name, but French had a different one to the brown bath. Same thing. Not as reliable, but basically the same thing. But yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, great kid. Uh, man, 10 minutes, 10 boxes. Took less time to box the World Games one. But yeah, if you're interested, uh, definitely check the. The guys out there on eBay, and I think they have their own website. They also have a Kickstarter, I think, because they, I saw an ad for it a couple years ago, actually, for their first series. They're already on, like, their season seven, and this is, this is their, one of their first figures. But, yeah, might as well check out their Kickstarter if you, if you want to support their newest works. Uh, but, yeah, uh, see you guys. Um, hope you enjoy, and I'll hopefully in the next two weeks or as soon as possible make a video of how she turns out uh yeah so 
have a great day guys and uh to enjoy subscribe then uh have a good day i guess so yeah see you guys